Okay guys, this is it. I'm done. This is my final video for this crazy 2020 year that we will leave behind us. And for the end of the year, let's do some magic. Let me show you how I created this really cool magical photo manipulation with a lot of magic around, magic trails, magic dust, some magic item inside the chest that I'm opening. And you can see the robots, my helpers in my workshop, etc. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Okay, I took this photo in my workshop. This is how it looks straight out of the camera. I lit myself with just a few LED lights. And then first thing that I did, I created these light rays or God rays from this chest. Inside the chest was one of the LED lights. So basically everything that I use in this tutorial, I already covered that in my previous tutorial. So I will link some of them in the description so you can check out a few techniques. So for example, how to create these light rays, etc. Then I use these robots that I made in Cinema 4D. I made them for one of the previous tutorials uh, with uh, toilet paper and this robot on a throne of toilet paper. So I made a few of them here and put it in a scene just as my helpers here in a workshop. And I, you will see in a moment, I use one of them to put inside my pocket. So this is the, this is the smallest one that I, I put in my pocket and uh, to do that I just made a copy of my pocket, put it in the front of the robot and then basically everything that I did I do it with dodge and burn to make those shadows and highlights to make the impression that actually robots, the robot is inside the pocket. Also you will see in a moment I use the liquify to extend the pocket just a bit, not too much, basically all the effect that the robot is inside the pocket is done by dodging and burning. So now I will let you watch that part. Here I created a new layer, put it in a multiply blending mode and sampled the darker color of my shirt to create that shadow that is casting from the robot onto my shirt. The antenna part here that I'm drawing is not in the right position. It's supposed to be more towards my shoulder, but don't worry about that, I will fix that later. Now it's time to make some thrusters, some jet engines on this first robot here and to do that I just use simple colors, white, yellow, orange and red and just created this kind of uh, shape that you can see here on both legs and uh, just use motion blur to emphasize that even more, to make impression that this is actually some kind of thrusters down below the foot. I colorize into a blue just to see how that will fit but I didn't uh, like that so I ended up using the orange, red, orange version. Here I just transformed this to make impression that the robot is actually moving towards this uh, chest, towards myself. Okay, I did the same thing for uh, all other robots, actually for this one and for the top right one that is uh, out of the focus, completely out of the focus, you will see that later, but it's completely the same procedure, just three colors and white and motion blur and then I added a little bit glow around that and that's it. It's really, really easy and simple. Later, what I will do, I will just add even more smoke around that at the bottom of these uh, thrusters and to emphasize that effect even more. Now it's time to add some glow around these light bulbs at the top of the antenna of the robots and I just use a regular layer on the linear dodge blending mode and just play with few colors. I did so many times this effect, I even have a playlist dedicated on a glow effect so you can check that out if you want to know how to create different kind of glows 
in Photoshop on your own. So after I finally fixed the antenna shadow, I decided to change the arms of the robot to put them out of the pocket. And actually that was a suggestion of my really good friend Sloba. So I think this is much better idea than the robot has the hands inside the pocket. This, for me, it's much cuter. The robot it looks even better with the arms outside of the pocket. So I just render out new arms and as you can see, place them here, tweak them a little bit and made the shadow from the arms on the shirt. And this is basically it. Here I decided to add some red reflection on the robot from that red lamp, but to be honest that red lamp is a little bit distracting to me, so at the end I just desaturate it, make it black and white, basically we'll see that this is probably the, the latest thing that I did, but for now it's okay, but over time I was doing this photo for a while and this lamp is something that really really bothered me. Okay, now is the time to add these kind of magic trails from the chest that is coming out of the chest. And to do that, I use the technique that I already explained in one of my tutorials. Again, you can find that tutorial link down there in the description. So check it out if you don't know how to create these trails. It's really awesome and easy technique that I picked up from Max Asabin and I have a full, full explanation on how to do it. After I finished with the light rails, I created my special particle, dust particle brush to add a lot of dust particles in the light rails and also these magic trails to make the photo even more interesting. Then I decided to blur these magic trails and particles a little bit and for that I used the fill blur in the filter and blur gallery and just play, play with that on all three layers, I think it was three layers, one for the magic trail, one for the bigger and one for the smaller dust particles and uh, just to add even more depth to these, to these magic trails and particles. Then I use my custom made smoke dust cloud brush to create a little bit of the smoke that is coming out of the chest. I just experimented with that, blurred it a little bit and uh, just lower the opacity. I just want the touch of that, not too much, just a little bit and this is how, how it looks. And finally here, you can see I decided to desaturate that lamp that is really bothering me all the time. 
and uh, I think it's better, it's less annoying and it's less distracting when it's black and white than when it's that bright red color. Also because I did that I needed to desaturate that parts on the robot that I did the reflection from the lamp so here I did that too because now the lamp is not any more red color. Also I decided to add some lights to the robot eyes, just to try how that will look like and I ended up liking that. So I just place white color deep inside the eyes and then add kind of light beams coming from that light source and I did that on all robots you will see now. After I finished with all the tweakings, I merged everything into one single layer, put that layer into a smart object and went to Adobe Camera to do the final color grading finally. After I did that, I realized that I have a big hole at the top of the photo, I realized to close that and after that I did a few more tweakings and this is the final result. I really hope that you like this video and that you got inspired to create something magical on your own. All you need to do is to practice, experiment and have fun while doing it. Right guys, so this is the end of this episode, this is the end of this crazy year that we will leave behind us and for the next one I wish you much better, happier, healthier year to spend even more time with your friends and family, with the people you care most about. Have fun, experiment and see you next year. Bye bye.